How was it being invested? It the investment pool. Again, the money was fungible. We had different sources of income. The money that we get to do before it's spent because of the investment pool. And then it's spent as we Okay, I'm going to um, try to go back and forth between the two sides of the room. So the gentleman back there in the feature. Uh, I can mention that uh, there is an annual third party audit, and as a result of this audit, are public. Um, in light of these public, uh, the public audit of, of the Cooper and uh, the, the finances to be public information, how come the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and Frame New York have all got it wrong? Uh, as recent as April 20th, 2010, um, you, Mr. Epstein, were quoted in Frame Business saying, the college owes Mr. Campbell an immense debt to gratitude. What comes to mind is how strong Cooper Union has become under President Campbell's grant. Transformational leadership, and that article quoted this transformational leadership as being an increase in the endowment from 100 to 600 million dollars. Um, is this just bad reporting by New York City? Uh, actually, excuse me, the world. Uh, we heard the financial record that they did not dig into the public uh, audit of the union when they when they reported the article. It's part of when when President Campbell was first hired, the endowment pool was extremely low. And during his tenure, the endowment was valued at the level of support. I don't know the exact number, it's five something, six, six hundred, six hundred million, but it, 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 yeah, most of that was due to the value of the price of going up, but the numbers were were accurate. So, so the dirty our, our dirty financial secrets were basically being broke uh, did not come out in the public audits that come out annually and the New York Times. Wall Street Journal and Frame Business were unable to find the situation. That doesn't sound like public information. I, the, the Cooper Union is not broke. That's, that's one thing that I've seen recently. The Cooper Union is not broke. They're running a deficit. We still have assets left that we're using, and the school is still surviving. No one's filing for bankruptcy. The school's not broke. But if changes aren't made in the few years, we could be broke. And that's why the board is active and we want to try to save that off. Would you personally be okay with having your name? First of all, I'm always proud to be associated with the beginning. That's number one. And two, if this is what comes to care, it's not, I don't, I said I'm always proud to be associated with the beginning. That's number one. Number two, if we have to go to, uh, if we have to alter the scholarship program, uh, I don't take it as a personal fault. This is a long happening event. And I would blame the lackluster performance of the alumni before I was <laughs> The difference between the board of trustees elects the president, the president's in charge of the administration. 
because the proper governance of the school. Okay, uh, way back there, uh, there's two of you. You decide between you. <laughs> All right, you. I just wanted to ask, um, would you be willing to state uh, a fundraising milestone that would remove tuition from the table for, for the future? For a um, I, I don't know. In other words, how much would it take to yes. remove the idea for all time? Just okay, that's a good question. Well, 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 one, one number that came out was about a half a billion dollars in investable assets. Was we? Yeah. 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 What are we at now? <laughs> well, if we have our investable flow is about 127 million, we would need to fix it. Yeah, I mean, that's a rough estimate. I mean, you have to really push a pencil to find it. Yeah. Because we're not expecting to look Okay. Okay, I've been asked to bring the mic to the speakers, and if you uh, will be patient, I will do that. Um, I'll bring it to you. Speak <laughs> up. I, I have a specific question about the, um, the finances. You said that the new building has left the institution stronger. Um, but from what I understand, 10 million 